Alice, can you make that beep for us? You just have thank you. What? The Cecil Hotel, also known as Stay on Main. I have been to this location many, many times, but I finally returned for some unanswered questions. Hey guys, welcome back to Joey Official's channel. I am here with Joey Official. Yes, sir. We <laughs> yes. also got Kelsey Davies. <laughs> We are at the Cecil Hotel, which Joey has been to many, many times. It is my first time in the Cecil Hotel, so I'm really nervous of what I'll see. Interesting night. Yeah. For you, for you, for you, for sure. Yeah, I'm really, really nervous. There's a lot of dark history here. There's just been, I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard of the history of the Cecil Hotel, but there's just a lot that's went on in here and... Joey says I'm a good storyteller, so... Yeah, I, I can't do intros <laughs> or stuff. My, my videos are like, boom, 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 we're done. <laughs> and yours are interesting and you get into it. Thanks, Joey. Yeah, <laughs> your videos are awesome. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of history here, though. A lot of dark history. There's been a lot of suicides here. Murders. Um, a lady threw her baby out the window. I guess that's murder, too. Uh, I don't know. There's just been a lot of really dark things and... I don't know, even just like being outside of it, you feel all this dark energy. It's just like such a weird feeling. I can't wait till you go inside. Oh like, God. Yeah, yeah, it's that bad. It's pretty, it's like legit scary. Oh it's, my gosh. I'm also a psychic medium, so I'm a little bit concerned as to what is gonna happen. Uh, So we'll see, dude. Smash the like button. Yeah, do it. And Give that like button a yeah. smash, a smash. We'll <laughs> grab the camera once we're inside. <laughs>
right here in my whole right like I don't know what it is in my neck right now on this floor on this floor yeah We're on the third floor this is like specific like my neck it almost feels like Lisa Lamb's, I think, first, no, no, no. first room where she was uh, residing in. You know, I'm just afraid of running into an actual human being. All right, guys, we have officially made it to. Fourth floor. This is where it be so loud. Look at the lights flickering. The, light. the lights are flickering. Whoa. First room was 412. 412, but that's on the other side. That's on the other side. How far of a walk do you think that is? It's not far at all. Can we just walk over there? Not from here. That doesn't lead you to anywhere, so you have to go all the way around. Okay. So, follow me. by the elevator real quick because that's how you go. Yo, this elevator would randomly go to like 15th floor. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. So which one did Elisa? Well, let's call the elevator real quick. Watch. Something weird is going to happen. Either this one's not going to come, or that one's going to go back down or something. And... This is where Elise Lam was last seen. Yeah, she was hiding in this corner. Yeah. That's the camera. That's the camera yeah, that's that the camera that caught her. And guys, there's no... There's no number 13. It just skips to 12 to 14. Yeah, that's usually how they are because they're usually superstitious. Door hold, wait. And let me tell you something. She hit B, not door hold. And if you guys know in the video, she presses all these numbers and the door doesn't shut. No, it shuts a little bit, then it opens and you see this dark figure walk in with her. But she was trying to shut the door, right? I don't know what she was trying to do. It she, was just... she went boom, 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 Yeah, boom, and the doors didn't shut. 
was yeah. like she oh, was wait. talking to someone. Now I'm scared. And her arm like, like, was stuck. making weird movements. And you see this dark figure come in as the elevator is like trying to shut. You see it open. And you see this dark figure with her. In yeah, it looks like there's something in the there's, elevator with her. Yeah, like... It's just like bad luck to have mirrors facing each other like that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just, just look at this. Imagine, imagine this. She walks in, right, and then she's like hiding. Look, she's like do 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 do, and then she goes. Yeah. This was literally where she was standing. Right and then she pops out for like a second, looks left and right, and she goes like this. Yeah, she pops out, nothing, and then boom. Stands, stands back, and then goes. Yeah. I've watched that clip yeah. so oh, many times. Me too, times. me too. It's like, in my head. I can't believe this is the spot. Like, this is it. I am standing where Lisa Lamb was. <laughs> and now we're about to go inside of Lisa Lamb's room. I think oh, we should sure. go to the fifth floor. Not using the elevator. Why? This, this elevator is so rusty and old. You, you like weird things like that. I don't. <laughs> I'll take the safe route. No, don't. I swear to God. I'm really safe. If we get stuck in here, man, I'm gonna have a panic attack. It'll be okay. Wait, but I did hit the door hold button for a really long ass time. All right, so I think we should step out. Oh my God. And to think all she had to do was click that button. She wasn't in her right mind. I See what I mean, bro? I feel like we're hanging by a string. So this whole place is identical. It's everything it looks like. And they all, none of these rooms have bathrooms. So they all share, all these floors share one bathroom, two bathrooms. Super tall. Yeah, at least I was tall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I really yeah. saw her walk this way. She liked Harry Potter. <laughs> I like Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter, too. I could be a shoe. I was a shoe. I just. Yeah, so we gotta take the damn elevator back now. Stairs go down. Let's take the stairs, right? Okay. You agree? Yeah. So we should take the stairs. Alright. The moment of truth. I've done this many times. So you guys get the honor to open the door. Oh, I'm opening. Are they living there? No. No, no one's living in 412. I made sure of that. Room. So she was already a little manic before she got switched to rooms. Yeah, because mania, you know, you kind of get, you do, you can get aggressive. Yo, your you know, camera's like, going blurry in and out like like four times. Really? Yep. I'm holding both very Lisa? still. Sis, are you here? <laughs> I want to put this out and just see if anything triggers it. I'm going to put it over there. I feel like Elisa was like only in this room for like two days though. Yeah. And then she switched. We just see if anyone. I felt more on the fifth floor, but it doesn't. I mean, I saw her walking, so 
or I think it was her. Yeah. So I don't know. This is so crazy. Is there anyone here with us that wants to come and talk with us? Um, what was that? What was that? I don't know. That sounded like, yeah. That was like a... I heard that again. There's so many weird noises going on. That was like a yeah. I heard all, yeah. Like a. I don't think that was Elisa. No. <laughs> I don't either. That was someone. We only welcome spirits of love and light. Absolutely no negative entities are welcome in our space. I know we're in your territory, but we are claiming this space and we have light around us. Absolutely no negative entities are allowed to enter our space. Yo, your camera, sorry. As soon as you said negative space, your camera went super blurry and it came back. Really? Yeah. Are there any spirits we just want to help you find, you know, your peace or answers? Um, we know that there's been a lot of tragedy here. Mm -hmm. I think that's from upstairs or something. Pull out the spirit box. Oh my God! Something. Someone, someone just opened the door. I heard it almost sounded like. It was like a door opening yes. or closing. Yeah. I hear it. I'm going to pull out the spirit box. If you guys want to use the spirit box, the link is down below in the description. Just be safe when you're using it. We're calling out to spirits of love and light. Absolutely no negative entities are to enter our space. We're calling out if anyone wants to come through, if anyone has anything to say. Can you tell us your name, whoever's here with us? I swear to God, I, I heard Lisa. I just didn't want to. your name loud and clear. My name is Kelsey. We're here with Mackenzie, Joey, and Cameron. Box. Yeah. I heard double. I heard Joey. Is there someone here named Alice? Or Allison? Yes. There's someone here named. I don't know if it's Alice or Allison. Hell no. No. First five seconds is going to be loud, but then. I keep hearing Joe. I heard Joe too. Can you guys stop saying that? I will leave my camera and leave. I heard Joe like three times. Yeah. Who is Joey if you didn't know? That's Hello. Joey. Joey official. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> this room. I heard something about the lobby. Do you have any questions? Um, Elisa, was that Elisa that Kelsey saw earlier? Elisa, were you trying to bring Kelsey here? What is she doing? Is something about going under? Yeah, I went under. Yeah. Can you be a little bit more clear for us? 
We have a box right here if you want to touch it. Yeah. All you have to do is get close to it. It's not going to hurt you. But it will allow us to know that you're here. There's someone super adamant here. Someone. She died here. Alice. Is that the name that you just said? Alice, either Alice or Alice. I heard Alice. So I said, what's up? Did you die here? That, that said Lisa? That, that said Elisa, huh? And I swear to God, that said, it said like Elisa. Elisa. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey. Elisa, are you here? No. I got shivers down my butt. <laughs> we would love to talk to you if you're here. Alice, do you know Elisa? Alice is like. Alice, can you make that beep for us? You just have. Thank you. What? See, I don't like these type of things. Let's go. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. I just want to give you a voice. We're here with the utmost respect. She said there. Thank you. Can you tell us about you, Alice? We'd like to know more about you. She said she was around our age. She was young. She was young. Like around my age. I'm 24. I'm 25. Yeah. You're making me feel old. <laughs> Alice, why are you at the hotel? She died here. That's a who? What? There's so many noises. She died here. She died here. Mm -hmm. Alice, can you tell us how you died? She said, Mom called me Allison. But someone's outside, like, I hear a piano playing. Piano? I swear to God, I hear a piano playing right now. Did Elisa play the piano? I hear some, some sort of background music. I feel like she Maybe. You guys don't hear that? No, I have the worst ear pain right now. I don't know why. Are we in danger here? That door. That was a knock or something. Suddenly. What does that sound? That's outside. What is going on in this room? That's Elisa. I swear to God, that's Elisa. I heard Elisa. Allison, do you know what happened to Elisa? I heard yes. That was like a person. That I was not the that, that was that was in that was like room. that was in this room. I, I swear room. to God, that was in this room. That was not the heard, that was not the freaking app. That was that was not your phone. I'm sorry. That I was literally not, heard that behind us. Me too. I swear to God, and I was staring at you. Oh my God. She said yes. What happened to Elisa? Uh, killed. 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 Was yes. How was Alice? Allison's coming. She's telling us what happened because she died 
before <laughs> Elisa. Like yeah. she died. I don't know. I want to say in the nineteen. That's the Lisa. Lisa. That was clear. That, that was Lisa. clear. That was the clearest day. That was the clearest day, Lisa. This woman died here in like maybe nineteen sixties, seventies. Like I'm getting her hair is kind of the seventies vibe. Almost like yeah. Oh my god, I got the chills so bad. I got some questions. I got some questions. Who killed Elisa? You. you. I don't think that was meant for us. No. No. No, that wasn't meant for us. Maybe the killer is inside this room. I said yes. Elisa, Elisa or something like that, yeah. right? What? Yes, yes. We keep hearing Elisa. That's yeah. confirming that's... Elisa. <laughs> no worries. I forgot you were holding No, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a live horror movie right now. Elisa's adamant that Elisa was killed. Like, this woman's almost protective of Elisa in a way. Maybe they know each other in some way, like in the afterlife is what I'm getting. Alice, do you know if Elisa willingly got in the water tank? Alice, can you tell us I said Alice. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Do you know if Elisa willingly got in the water tank? I don't think she willingly got in that water tank. I just I don't feel it. She's not like giving me a clear answer, but I don't feel like she did. Like she's protective of her, like. You know, like it's like something bad. It's not like she willingly did something. Like this woman's like defending her in a way. Is what I'm getting. Did someone take advantage of Elisa while she was staying here? I heard Elisa, ma'am. I keep hearing you. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah. It was like a scream. It was like a female scream. Don't jump. Run. Don't jump. A lot of people have jumped, you know. This is where anxiety kicks in, right? This is where your heart starts beating. Alice, are you still here with us right now? Can you touch the box if you're still here with us? I have a feeling they want us to go up. Up? Up. I think they want us to go up. Okay. Someone's just pointing. Then let's go up. Let's go up. Wow. That was insane. This place is Should full of activity. Like Do you think there's like an Allison? Allison. Well, Elisa Land does have another floor above us. Right, right. I wonder if that was one of the names of one of the random roommates she had. I don't know. Or something. Possibly. Like, maybe we know their names. So, I don't know if we, we know, don't know names. any of the names of the roommates. Just like but they're both female. How No, it's A L I S O N. Usually, I think that was actually. We're looking at Allison Cecil Tell us to see. What? Allison, that scared me. Oh, hold on. What? Allison Rowan at the Doe Hotel. The Doe Network death at the Cecil Hotel? 
Allison Lowell. But traumatic injury. 5'4", literally our height. Wait, age 20 to 30. Around our age. She jumped from the window of the hotel in 1975. Oh, I said the 70s. What? That's Allison. <gasps> That's who we're talking to. Allison Lowen. Lowell or Lowen? Wait, Lowell. Let me see. It's Lowell. Lowell. I have shivers. Allison Lowell. That's insane. I've said that I literally Allison. said the 70s. Allison, can you please turn on this REM pod? If you're here with us now. Allison Lowell. That's scary. Yo, that's scary. I scared myself. Yo, Kelsey, you scared me. I scared myself. Holy shit. We what? just talked we just talked to Allison Lowell, someone who jumped from this hotel. And it's in the seventh jump. And it did a scream. Jump. And I, I just said talked she to died her. here. I said she died here. She knows something about Lisa. She does. Crazy. That's that's not even crazy. Maybe, that's out of this world. Maybe like she's, it's not a coincidence. That's crazy. No, maybe, I'm saying maybe she's so adamant about it because she ended her life here. You know, like she. But for Elisa, it's like she, she didn't have a choice. Yeah, it's almost like she's like she didn't get to choose. Like she's like very protective of her. Yeah. Like I don't feel like she would if Elisa took her own life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god.